Good evening, I'm William Rag, and this is my narrative speech. It all started out one weekend when me and my friend was bored and we decided to go out and put out two job applications because we were unemployed. We were just bored, looking for something to do, trying to find something to better ourselves, and did not predict that things would go down the way they did. On the way back home from job applications, we got in a tragic accident. I had fallen asleep and so had my friend at the wheel, and we went off the road and hit a tree head on. It ended up breaking every bone in my face, dislocating my lower jaw, and putting a crack in my skull. I did not awake from the coma that I was put in from the accident until three days later. When I awoke, they were stitching my eyes shut. My eyeballs had been cut open by my glasses. Here's a picture of what I looked like when I got in the accident. As you can see, I had severe facial damage and it very much traumatized me. It was very hard to deal with for a while. It caused many problems when I was trying to do daily activities. It hurt to do anything. It hurt to do everything. After recovering, it I stayed in ICU two weeks to recover and it was delayed. My surgery was delayed due to the stomach virus I received from antibiotics. This stomach virus actually was my miracle. If I had not delayed my surgery, then I would have had a completely different surgery when I first planned for it. Because I had healed in the time that they delayed my surgery, I did not have to have my face open in an X and peeled back and then they would have to repair it that way. They were able to repair all of the fractures and put all the screws and plates in my face through my mouth alone because it was healed within two weeks. The doctor said that he had never seen anybody heal that fast before and that was a miracle. Unfortunately, in order for the operation to go successfully, they had to perform a trachea which is when they put a hole in your neck to ensure that you can still breathe. This was the worst part of the whole operation because for a few days afterwards I still had it. And when they clean it and section it out, it literally feels like somebody is suffocating you. It is one of the worst things I've ever been through. Healing after all of this was a very different experience because my mom and dad had to go back to work and I was not able to go back to school or anything like that. I just had to focus on healing, but they were not able to help me because they already took off as many days as they could to be with me in the hospital. Thankfully, I had a wonderful girlfriend at the time and she took care of me and devoted her life to me to make sure that I was okay. If it was not for this love, I don't know if my girlfriend would turn into my wife as she is now. And if it was not for this accident, I would not have the love that I have today. And I would not have the patience and ability to look at life the way I do without this accident. Looking back on it, it has changed me for the better. And it just goes to show that God knows what he's doing, even if we may question it.